you liked the video, it will be my honor if you can like, subscribe, and hit the notification button. And there are a lot more figure diorama photography at the end of this video, so please watch and enjoy until the end. Now, let's begin. Hello everyone, how's everybody doing today? And today we are going to be reviewing Mattel's Amber Collection for Jurassic Park. And who have thought that we'll be getting this character in a, a great figure articulated form? I didn't. I wasn't expecting it. But I am not complaining. <laughs> and this character is Dennis Nedry. But... If you swap the DNR, it's nerdy. So I think that's where they got the name nerdy, but they kind of wanted to, you know, they didn't want to do, you know, nerdy, right? So nerdy. But it's the guy that I know as ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh. <laughs> Like from the movie, and it's a really good figure, surprisingly. Um, going with the, whoop, the the raptor fell, but this line again, the raptor were so awesome. I got four of them, it's cool. And this one for the character, we got this um, amber like uh, base, really nice. And you don't actually need the base for him to stand. It's a, it's well, he's a little clumsy maybe actually he is a little wobbly on his ankle side and since we're talking about ankle uh joint let's go with articulation first before we go to the detail his head goes that much and goes around that much so like so he doesn't look down at all but he does look up a bit his shoulder goes up that much goes 360 now his elbow goes in that much which is quite good and yes his uh wrist does articulate his belly does get in the way but he does have well, actually uh, his belly does get in the way but he does have a diaphragm joint decent enough and he does have a 360 on his belly and then it, there is a slight wobbly uh, joint full of hoop dancing uh, articulation you can do. So that is a really nice add. Now he does split quite a lot, which is like surprisingly a lot. And he kicks out that much and because of his well, butt sculpt, he can't kick back at all. Now there is a cut right at the side, goes 360, nice, and his knee does bend if you push it it does bend that much which is nice just like i mentioned in the front uh it's a little wobbly when it comes to the ankle side but then let's talk about his ankle area because his boot is amazing look at that sculpt it is really nice and i also love that detail on his weathering it's a really beautiful beautiful sculpt and weathering even the the bottom side they did not miss it's a really nice sculpt also his pants a little dirty because you know he's this is a time when he's running out in the the storm wrinkles are great the textures are great it's a very simple texture you might kind of miss it but if you look closely there is a definite texture paint in there so mattel didn't skip on this character they went much full. I think they did a much better job than him. Look at it. It's his uh, his body and everything. It's the same texture. It's not much like. I think there. It's a slight color. No, they don't. They don't have a color. It's like everything the same uh, color. Nothing added. But for him, for some reason, they did push a lot more subtle, but effective. Even his belly side. If you look at it it's it's nice it's so paint and everything it's washed out really nice his glossy uh, jacket and i love the Jurassic park uh logo right there and he even have an id right there showing a really nice figure much better than the first figure coming out right there so i forgot the character name story about it but his glass are really nice too i think this is a very big upgrade from the first figure and i hope they release more and i don't know amber collection they don't release much <laughs> seriously it's been a while and we only finally got him and nothing much coming in the future but like when are we getting uh six inch scale 
T-Rex because that's what everybody's, you know, like wanting to see. Like, give us a big T-Rex. Give us a big T-Rex. We want T-Rex. But anyhow, he gets a open hand. Sorry about that. He gets a open hand as a default. Then he he also get a a further open hand, and he also get a grabby hand, which is for the can right here. So you can hold the can like so. And this can is awesome. If you do remember the movie, that's where he's supposed to install the the eggs uh, serum inside the DNA uh, strip into that, and then you can actually put it back in like so. So that's a very nice gimmick. I love it. It's beautiful. He does come with a burned out face due to the acid. And yeah, it's a nice uh, ad. It's not much of a thing to see because, well, it's just a, you know, like upset face with uh, teeth coming out. Not the great paint, but that's okay. It's, it's not bad at all. But yeah, I love it. <laughs> I, I wasn't expecting to like this figure this much because, you know, the character, you know, Nerdy or Ned Nedry, 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 yeah, Nedry. It's not a character that anyone would, you know, he's not in any choice of the fan. He's like, she's not even in the best 50 or something. Like, people would like the, the dinosaur much better than him, but uh, the figure is great. It's a, it's a fantastic figure. I love it. Um, I would hope that they release more. Even the jacket, look at it. You can see the. The particle. I think they tried to mimic the the uh, the rain particle. I don't know if you can see it, but there is a definite. Yeah, you can kind of see. It. You can see a particle on that uh, coat, and that's. I think. I assume that they're trying to mimic the the water from the the rain. That is a really nice, highly detailed figure. So, Mattel, great job. Give us more. Give us more. And give us more fast because we've been waiting for a very long time like super long and maybe end of this year can you announce t-rex because we all want to see a t-rex anyhow very short video review because it's nerdy or nedry i don't know and uh yeah i'll take some photo i don't know how much i can take but i'll take a photo of him and see y'all soon Thank you very much for watching my figure unboxing photography review. If you liked the video, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification button. Currently, there are only 6% of my audience who are subscribed, and I feel a little bit lonely here, so your subscription will give me inspiration to go on further. Thank you again, and see you all soon.